Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on inference rules used for predicate logic. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about inference rules used in propositional logic. In the propositional logic, the inference rules we are used are rule P, rule T and rule CP. So these three rules are called as inference rules for propositional logic. Okay. Some additional rules are required to deal with the formulas involving quantifiers such as universal quantifier and existential quantifier. Whenever any formula contains a universal quantifier, okay, then rule P, rule T and rule CP inference rules are not sufficient. At that time, we have to use some additional rules to deal with the formulas involving quantifiers such as a, um, such as a universal quantifier and existential quantifier. Okay. So, only uh, in addition to the three rules used in propositional logic, rule P, rule T and rule CP, we have to use some more uh, uh, inference rules in predicate logic that are rule US, rule ES, rule UG, rule EG. Okay. Rule US means universal specification. Rule ES means existential specification. Rule UG means universal generalization. Rule EG means existential generalization. Okay. For removing the quantifiers from the given formula, we have to use specification rules such as rule US and rule ES. We have to prefix the quantifier for the given formula. We have to use two rules that is uh, universal generalization and uh, existential generalization. Okay. For eliminating the universal quantifier from the given formula, we have to use rules of specification. That is the rule US and rule ES. Rule universal specification, rule existential specification. To prefix the quantifier uh, before the formula, we have to use rules of generalization. That is the uh, rule UG rule universal generalization, rule EG, existential, rule existential generalization. Okay. Now, first of all, I am taking rule US. Okay. Rule universal specification. Here, we have to eliminate the universal quantifier from the given formula. Okay. So, suppose I am taking this is entire universe. Okay, in that universe, suppose I am taking X is an object. Okay, we can take any object X. We can take any object S. Then in the universe, so P of X is true. P of X is true. Okay, for all Xs, P of X is true. Then this statement can be written as for all X, P of X. For all x, p of x means we can take all x's in the universe, then p of x is true. So, it can be denoted by for all x, p of x. Now, I am taking only uh, t is an object in the universe, then p of t is true only for this object, t of P of T is true only for this object in the universe. At that time, we have to remove the universal quantifier. After removing the universal quantifier, then, so P of T is true for all T. Okay, here, all X's are true in the universe. That can be denoted by for all X, 
p of x okay we can take any object x in the universe okay for all x's are true in the universe that can be denoted by for all x p of x now we can take another object t in the universe okay p of t is true only for that object t in the universe okay so this is called as rule us here universal quantifier is there that universal quantifier can be eliminated okay because p of t is true only for all t whenever we are removing the universal quantifier okay we can take another object in the universe previously we are taking x object so if x is one object in the universe then for all x's it is true that can be denoted by for all x p of x okay now the universal quantifier can be dropped because we can take another object uh, in the universe that is a t so p of t is true only for all t okay so to eliminate the universal quantifier we have to use rule us okay next one second rule is rule es existential specification okay so in the universe i am taking x is an object okay x is an object in the universe x is true x is true only in some cases okay that means some x's are true in the universe that can be denoted by there exist x p of x okay only some x's are true in the universe then p of x is true okay so there exist x p of x okay we can take one object that is x in the universe okay then only some x's are in the universe are true that can be denoted by there exist x p of x there exist x p of x now we have to eliminate the existential quantifier now i am taking t is another object t is true only for t p of t is true only for some t's not all the t's in the universe p of t is true only for some t's in the universe not all the t's but here in this case okay t is another object in the universe okay for all t's p of t is true but here in this case okay p of t is true only for some t's in the universe not all the t's so at that time the existential quantifier can be eliminated okay whenever the existential quantifier can be eliminated then it can be written as p of t for some t so p of t is true only for some t's in the universe okay here in this case p of t is true for all t's in the universe here universal quantifier can be eliminated here the existential quantifier can be eliminated so rule us and rule es are called as specification rules so this specification rules are used for eliminating the quantifier from the given formula for eliminating the universal quantifier we are using rule us okay for eliminating the existential quantifier we are using rule es okay next one uh, to prefix the quantifier for the given formula so we are using rules of generalization so that is the rule ug and rule eg okay so i am taking t is an object in the universe so p of t is true for all t in the universe for all t in the universe okay 
Now we have to prefix the universal quantifier. For that one, we are using rule UG. So here P of T is true for all T in the universe. Then we have to prefix the universal uh, quantifier. Then we are getting for all X, P of X. Okay. Next one. Rule EG. Existential uh, generalization. So P of T is true only for some T's in the universe. Okay. Now we have to prefix the existential quantifier. Then we are getting there exist X, P of X. There exist X, P of X. Okay. Here we have to prefix the existential quantifier uh, before the given formula. If P of T is true for some element T in the universe, then there exists, there exists X, P of X is true. Okay. Whenever P of T is true for some T's in the universe, okay. So we have to prefix the existential uh, quantifier. So there exists X, P of X is true. Here in this case, P of T is true for all t's in the universe, then uh, for all x, p of x is true. Okay. Because we are prefixing the universal quantifier. Okay. So, these inference rules, uh, rule us, rule es, rule ug, rule eg. So, these rules are used for uh, inference, used for inference rules in predicate logic in addition to the rule T, rule P and rule CP. Okay. Totally how many number of rules we are used in predicate logic? So, rule P is also used, rule T is also used, rule CP is also used. In addition to the three rules, we are using another four rules. Uh, that is rule US, rule ES, rule UG and rule EG. Okay. Total seven inference rules are used in predicate logic. Okay. Last four rules are only used for uh, whenever the given formula containing uh, quantifiers such as universal quantifier and existential quantifier. Then last four rules that is uh, these four rules are used. Okay. So this is the description about the uh, inference rules for predicate logic. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So develop Srinivasarao.